Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Got a uh, quick update here for you. Just doing a quick project. Got a trip to Silver Lake in a few weeks for the old school buggy meet. So if you're going to be in the area, I think it's the 26th of August. I should really check these things before I start filming. Uh, whatever that Saturday is, uh, and you're going to be near Silver Lake, come out and say hello. Going to have the buggy out there and uh, should have a good time. Have a few friends up with me. But um, in the meantime, you know I've been talking about this oil leak forever and I've got a lot of crankcase pressure, so let's be honest, this engine's a little tired. So instead of fixing the problem, we're just going to keep throwing band-aids on it. So I have acquired one of these empty oil fill breather tower doohickeys, and we are going to get that set up. I'm going to have a little bit better ventilation than my single vent right now. Uh, I'm going to get this thing torn apart here in just a sec, get it mounted up. Uh, it looks like a pretty easy install process. Um, do have a surprise for another problem solution here that'll be coming shortly as well. Um, but yeah, we're getting this thing torn apart here. It should be pretty easy. Just, you know, take this. Oh, don't worry about that duct tape. Just going to get this extension taken off. Uh, get that tower thrown on. My plan currently is to vent one of the bottom vent holes out of that tower into my current catch can and then have two vents off the top. So I think in theory, I'm going from one vent to three, technically. Hopefully that makes a bit of a difference. Stop pushing quite as much oil out at the crank because I'm sure is where it's coming out the pulley. So uh, gonna get this thing opened up here in a second and get started and uh, hopefully this makes a difference. All right, so we got this beast here on the workbench and now we're going to carefully, you know, one-handed, oh God. You know, I'll tell you what, let's, let's be safe about this. We'll, we'll set you down here. Don't need to do the one-handed open. We have the technology of tripods at our disposal. Small but mighty tripod. All right, so what do we have here? A bunch of stuff stuck to the plastic, that's what I like to see. Okay, we got some fittings, hose clamps, nut, etc. Rubber band, that's the most critical piece of this whole thing, I'm pretty sure, is rubber band. What is this even stuck to? We'll just throw everything everywhere. All right, got some hose to set up for our vents. A little gasket, and then the main piece of this tower and the cover. So it looks decent. Honestly, I think it might make my oil fill, I'm hoping, a little easier. That's kind of neat. Get back on there, you. And then got some foam in top on the top side of these baffles. You know, ultimately, I want to get some filters on the top of this or vent them with a hose. I think just to get started, we're going to see how it runs. Just open. Ooh, there is one on the back. So this is something that I think is important to note. Um, I don't know if any of you have bought these things yourselves, but the pictures online of all these things are terrible. I probably looked at seven or eight listings. I had no idea there was a hole on the back. So I've been making plans on where to vent everything, uh, assuming I had just these two. Had no idea there was a third. So hopefully this video helps someone know these uh, empty towers not only have two on the bottom, if you want to vent your valve covers or whatever to, uh, to vent into, two on the top, but then this sneaky little guy on the back. So... Um, Finish is not the greatest. I, I did see some complaints about that. Uh, you know, it's not exactly the prettiest casting I've ever seen. But if it prevents oil from spraying everywhere out of my uh, crank seal at the pulley, maybe it doesn't matter. So I'm going to go get this thing taken apart and see, uh, see how easy this install goes. I'm very happy to find out there's an extra vent port on this thing. So let's get moving. I'm going to pull this breather hose off. There we go. We'll just let you kind of hang out over there. This ought to just rotate. Oh, yeah. Right off. Now, we've got a gasket on here. I don't know. I should probably clean you up a little bit. I don't know if it comes with another one, so we'll hang on to that just in case we need to reuse it. All right, so... So I'm tearing through this, so this does come, I pre-opened this, but do have another gasket, got some hose clamps, got some fittings, got some plugs, 
which is nice. I sort of assumed I was going to have to go and find these because, again, listings don't tell you anything that's in this kit. I mean, at least I got directions. So that's nice. But, I mean, I had no idea there was an O-ring. I had no idea we had these screws. I figured we had these. I could see these in the photo. These fittings I saw, but had no idea there were plugs. Um, so those of you, again, may be considering this kit. Uh, just here's kind of a quick filthy, you know, look of everything that's coming in this bag so you have an idea of what to expect. I'm not sure how much I agree with this installation. So I want the gasket there, but no gasket in between. Am I crazy? It wants the gasket on the adapter bolt, not in between this and the alternator stand. So if and when oil starts leaking on around this, we know uh, where to start looking for the problem, I think. Oh my Lord, am I threading this in on the, the first try? Goodness gracious. I've done a thing. Will we get lucky enough that this hose just fit? Ooh, that's going to be a little close to the exhaust. So I don't like the position relative to the exhaust. That's not great. That is not on there good enough. It's probably because this hose is too small for this application. I'm just going to use the, if it doesn't fit, force it mantra. And just make it work for now because I just want to see if this fixes any of our issues before I go too crazy with buying more buying more stuff. I've already bought stuff, so I'd like to decrease the buying of stuff for a minute or two till we figure this out. So again, don't freak out on me. We're not going to run it like this. Except for just a little test drive. See if we notice that our pressure issue has improved. All right, now we're going to get our cover installed. I know this kind of looks like a bit of a rushed install, and you'd be right, it sort of is. I'm just very excited to see, even if it isn't perfect, how much of a difference does it make to my crankcase pressure problem, because that's really been a the bane of my existence with this thing for quite some time, and you know, like I said in the beginning, instead of fixing the problem, tearing the motor out and rebuilding it. We're just going to we're going to band-aid it for this year. It's it's prime off-roading and fun having time. I don't want to tear this whole motor apart. You know, in August. I'm not going to go too crazy on these little fellas. You know, I know we're threading into aluminum here, so let's be a little cautious. I do have a couple little filters, or I will, that'll ultimately either go in these top vents or I will plumb them to another location ultimately. But for now, that's kind of the idea for the test run. I'm fairly happy with that. So let me grab the key. We'll fire this thing up and see how much air we feel coming out of that dude. Oh yeah, you can definitely, you can, de you can definitely feel the air coming out of that. Just putting my hand over these, wearing a glove, I could feel the air coming out of these vents. So before I did this project, the only vent I had was this hose running out of the alternator stand to this catch can. So just this 3 8 hose was it. So. We still have that, and it's at the bottom, so any oil that does come out will, in theory, push this way. But I got this extra, oh yeah, and the third one up here, I forgot about that. So, yeah, there's some work to do here, because this is definitely not what I would consider to be finished, but it's a step in the right direction. Appreciate you checking out the video, hope you liked what you see. Uh, I'll be at Silver Lake in a couple weeks here again. Uh, it's that weekend, I think it's August 26th, Saturday. Uh, check it out. It's on Facebook and everything. Uh, the old school buggy me. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about my uh, band-aids. Uh, again, hopefully it makes a difference. Thanks for checking out the video. See you in the next one. Thanks.